Chicago! Okay, wait, the sidewalk is closed, so use the other side. Okay, now I have to cross again. It is so loud downtown, also. I am freezing already. I'm gonna have to ask Vicente to bring me a hat because we're going to the Northwestern game later. But I thought it would be so much fun to vlog a Saturday in my life. Oh my god, I think the train is coming. I wasn't awake yet, now I feel insanely awake. The cold and the running. I haven't even had coffee yet. I already made my way over to West Loop. It's like 9 a.m. I'm running just a tad bit late. I'm meeting with Cezanne. I think that's how you say it. They're a Paris fashion brand and their team is in Chicago. So I'm meeting up with them before the Northwestern game. So that's my Saturday. Let's go. Oh my God, thank God we're already here. So I'm not too late. Yay. We're meeting them at the Hoxton. leaving the event. It was so much fun. I met the nicest girls that are also creators in Chicago and it's so crazy because I always think like okay I've met all the Chicago creators around my age at this point and then I go to another event and there's more. So thank you so much Cezanne for the best little morning, little breakfast, had nice coffee, yogurt parfait. Feeling good, feeling hyped for the game now and they give us a little goodie bag. It says Bonjour Chicago because they're like a French company and we got to pick out a little hat set. I got a red one because because I just feel like red is like the color of the season and it'll also go well with like Christmas and the holidays So I'm really excited about the red little winter set. It's like a hat and a scarf I'll show you guys later when I get home and then they also gave us a voucher to shop like online and pick out some pieces Fangirling that's so exciting. So yeah now I'm running to catch the train It was kind of chaotic leaving I was like trying to get all my clips while also meeting people and talking and then I forgot my clear purse that I brought with like all my essentials for the game. I forgot it when I initially left, so then I had to go back and get it. And I'm a little stressed about them not letting me bring the tote bag into the game, but I feel like it'll be okay. Like there's nothing in it, they can check it. So I'm hoping it's just, you know, gonna be fine. <laughs> I don't know you guys. But yeah, let's go catch the Metra. just waiting for it to move and Vicente is meeting me at the next stop so I tried to tell him like what car I'm in and everything and where I'm sitting. Let's go to Evanston. <laughs> but it's been so fun. The weather is perfect, 55 degrees and sunny. Now we're just taking a little break to go to the bathroom and get some food. We're on a mission to find the gluten-free hot dogs. So the stadium is out of gluten-free buns today, so I ended up just getting a hot chocolate. <laughs> Interception!
Let's go. Got a touchdown. <laughs> We rush the field! Wild Cats win! <laughs> and this could be the last game ever in this stadium because they are like tearing this down and building a new one. So, bye Ryan Field, I love you. Walking <laughs> down Sheridan Road. <laughs> Yay. Walk sign is off the cross. Road. It's so quiet here. We've escaped I mean, the hustle and bustle of the city. We're on campus. This is Northwestern's library. It's so beautiful. You caught me while I was yawning. <laughs> That's hilarious, oh my god. Oh uh, wait, I wasn't recording that whole time. No, <laughs> I cry. Anyway, I would. I just recorded a whole thing talking about how sentimental I feel coming here <laughs> and it wasn't recording. So I feel like it would be fake to just like re-say all of that. <laughs> but I love Northwestern. Feels like I'm coming home, even though it's not homecoming weekend. It's such a beautiful day, I'm not over it. When we went to school here, this was a Burger King and then they teared it down and they're building this huge high rise. Well, it's not really that high, but like it's an office building, but it's also gonna have an edit in it. Labs. This is just like so insane. Like this used to be a Burger King. This used to be a Taco Bell. Still nothing there. Spent a lot of nights at that Starbucks actually. Blaze, Cynthia and I had a lot of dates at Blaze. Aw, so much has changed yet nothing at the same time. Rip Unicorn Cafe. Guys, this closed forever ago, like years ago. They still haven't replaced it. This was like such an Evanston staple. I loved that place. We are on our way to Soli Grill Evanston, which is a vegan spot. It's a sister restaurant of Bat 17. Oh my god, Le Beep! Le Beep! This was like the brunch spot to go to in college. But, but yeah, Soli Grill actually DM'd me. It's a new restaurant in Evanston, duh, because that's where we are. But they're a sister restaurant to Bat 17, which is like a really good burger place that we used to go to in college. But when you went there in college, it was like an outing. Like it was... The burgers are like, like 20 bucks. <laughs> yeah, it's like a, a really good spot, like really solid burgers. And I think they had gluten-free buns too. Oh, we're here, Soli Grill DM'd me. So we're gonna go try it, I'm excited. I don't think they're open yet though. They open back at four and it's like 3.50, so we're gonna have to wait a little bit. It kind of tastes like apple cider, actually. Since I got an espresso martini. Is it good? It is. It has like a cool texture to it. Frothy. Yeah. finished eating. It was perfect timing because the metro leaves at 5 and we like literally just finished 5 minutes ago. And the food was delicious. Oh my god, it was so good. I love vegan sushi. It's the best. So now we're gonna take the metro back home. It also got freezing. I'm so cold. Alright, we got off the metro. I'm so glad Vicente noticed that it was our stop because I was totally not gonna notice. But I keep running into the bush. But we're headed home. Such a fun little outing. My tummy is full, my heart is happy, but my hands are cold and everything is cold, but that's okay. <laughs> we made it back home. I'm gonna make some tea. I've just been looking at all the photos that we took on my digital camera. <laughs> I take like hundreds on my digital camera because I just do this setting where it's like continuous speed and it, it literally takes a photo every millisecond. <laughs> So there's a lot of photos to go through. So it took me like an hour and I've just kind of been chilling, but I really need to hydrate. I'm gonna get myself some water and probably make myself some chamomile tea too. I'm 
still feeling cold just from being outside all day. I'm not used to being outside literally the entire day, but it's been such a nice Saturday. The food was amazing. I'm feeling so full from it. I'll probably want to have a snack later just since we had it at like a weird time. We got there at like four, but this is like the perfect Saturday. I love like going out and like doing stuff in the day and then just like resting and chilling at home at night. I feel like that's my vibe. I mean, sometimes it's fun to do the opposite, but like, I feel like some Saturdays I do both. Like I go out in the daytime and at night and it's a little bit too much for me. All right, cheers. We got the water. I literally didn't have water till 4 p.m. today because I just, I didn't want to get it at the game because I knew the water was going to be cold. So I got hot chocolate. And then in the morning at the breakfast thing I went to, like the brand event, they just had coffee. Like, I think they did have water, but I was just in the mood for coffee and two drinks was a lot to like keep track of. So I need to catch up on my hydration. Do you guys make tea in the tea kettle or in the microwave? Because I do it in the microwave and the Sunday makes so much fun of me for it. I feel like it's such an American thing to do. Cheers. All right, guys, I've been editing this video for so long. I'm having so much fun with it, though. It's definitely a lot different than my usual vlogs. This is my Sicily vlog, but I need to pack because I leave, my flight leaves at 11 a.m. tomorrow. So I need to take a break and pack. Let's do it. It's the next day. I did my skincare and just completely fell asleep and I'm about to head out and leave for the airport Just finishing up packing and getting everything together. Yeah, it was so much fun spending Saturday with you guys It was such a gal on the go esque day I feel like I was up and about with the brand event with the game with dinner and then just like chilling here and getting some work done And then packing I'm so so tired from it, but it was so much fun and now I'm gonna go to Hilton Head for Thanksgiving. I love you guys. I know this is going up probably after Thanksgiving, so thanks for bearing with me with the backlog of videos, but that's just how I could work it out with like editing and traveling so much this fall. But subscribe so you don't miss my next videos. I am just having the best time filming and editing this fall because I feel like my life is so much more eventful and fun. I have a lot more going on and super fun. And yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>